We have main engine start and lift off. When that Dawn spacecraft lifts off and we're on our way to finding out about some of the biggest mysteries in the solar system, that's something we can all be part of. It's so cool going to the asteroid belt, this ring of broken up debris between Mars and Jupiter. These are among the last unexplored worlds in the inner solar system. It's fragments of explosions of planetary embryos, perhaps, during collisions, or material that's come in from other parts of the solar system and been captured into this orbit of the asteroid belt. Dawn orbited Vesta and spent 14 months exploring that alien world. We saw a crater there 300 miles in diameter. And in the center of that crater, there's a mountain that's two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. It's very young, it formed very hot, but we also found that there was water on Vesta and that water had to come from somewhere else. And now we're on the verge of exploring an even larger alien world. Series. Thanks to Dawn's unique ion propulsion system, it has a different way of going into orbit around Ceres from what we're used to. It will slowly creep up on Ceres and gently use its ion propulsion system to gracefully slip into orbit. Dawn is going to be revealing to us this mysterious world that for more than two centuries has just been a faint smudge of light amidst the stars. We're now getting pictures that are better than the best we'd ever had before. The bright spot that's been seen in the approach images is very interesting because it's in the same region where the Herschel Space Observatory detected water vapor emission from Ceres' surface. It's possible that objects like Ceres brought water to the Earth. It has a rocky core and an ice mantle, and in the past had an ocean like Europa and Enceladus. Dawn carries a suite of sophisticated instruments that will allow us to determine not only what Ceres looks like, but what it's made of and what its interior structure is. So we're going to learn about the geology and the chemistry, what minerals are on Ceres, all about the nature of this world, and it's like a time capsule from the dawn of the solar system.